Hey, I'm Sean. Welcome to Echoes in Eternity Bourbon. Today I'm giving my review on the Weller Antique 107. Let's see what we got. So Weller Antique 107. This is uh, what we would call an allocated bourbon. This is a little bit harder to get. Uh, it's even harder to get at MSRP. Um, it's part of the Buffalo Trace uh, family. And as you go up in the Wellers, uh, generally it, it gets a little more expensive up to the BTAC collection. Um, on this one Weller right here, this is not age stated. This is rumored to be six to eight years old. Um, this is the same mash bill as uh, the, the old Rip Van Winkle, uh, also known as uh, the Pappy mash, basically, um, where that's 10 years. This is rumored to be 6 to 8, but it comes out at the same proof point uh, at 107 proof. Uh, let's give it a little uh, smell, see what she smells like, and we'll go from there. And if you didn't notice, I had the old Rip Van Winkle uh, Glen Karen on here. That was a nice little touch for it. I was fortunate enough to find this out at one of my 3B stores, um, which is a Maple Party shop here in Columbus, Georgia area. You get some of the caramels and vanillas of a, of a good standard bourbon. You're getting some of the oak in here. Getting some deep fruits in here, getting some of the red fruits in here. A little something extra I just I hadn't identified on this yet, but let's give it a little taste. Ooh, before we do that, this is nice and oily. Interesting the mouthfeel on this too. I can tell you right up front, mouthfeel is very nice on it, coats very well. You get a little bit of the burn from the 107, but it drinks very, very nice. I'm getting some of the oak, some of the red fruits. You get a little bit of tangle through the finish on this. I'm getting a little bit of a, a licorice in this, which I'm, I know I'm licorice sensitive, but I, I, I kind of get a little bit of the licorice on this. I'm definitely getting some of the red fruits kind of sitting on my mid palate and the oak as it follows back. This is a very easy sipper. Um, this is something that's easily crushable something that's very oily and goes down nice and smooth. Uh, I can see why this is very popular with a lot of people and myself included is that it gives you smooth, easy drinkability, gives you great mouthfeel. Uh, it's got some play on some of the different tastes that you're going to hit up front, mid palate, and then back through the finish. It's not overly long finish, but a nice finish to it. Um, the, the tough part about this is it's a little bit harder to get. Um, so if you do have the opportunity and, and you're not killing yourself on it or if you can afford it, I would definitely add this to any bar. I think that it's a great addition to any bar. Um, and it's something that it would be definitely a, a more of a uh, maybe a monthly sipper or a special occasion sipper. Um, it's a little bit harder to find, so unless you just have that kind of uh, cash flow or money, it definitely wouldn't be a daily drinker. Um, but I think it offers enough complexity um, that if you're introducing someone more into the bourbon game, you know, kind of the entry point for a lot of people might be the Wild Turkey 101, Buffalo Trace, some of the Benchmark stuff, Maker's Mark, things like that, Elijah Craig, which I'm a big fan of. This would be more of a, a, a tier or two above that, but it would be a nice introduction to maybe a higher level bourbon for someone to get some of the different complexities out of it. Um, overall, I'm very pleased with this. I truly hope you all have an opportunity to find some of this 
and give me your thoughts on do you like this bourbon is it too difficult to find in your area um, or maybe you know use some of the strategies that I'm using in a year-long project to determine how I can get allocated bourbons in different stores that have different philosophies in the way they deal with their customers and as well as if you're in an allocated state like the state of Alabama where I currently reside how you go about getting it in, in that state as well um, I also like to trade my bourbons which is nice too because sometimes people have different access to different things so maybe you can find something that you're when someone's willing to trade out for something you can find that they can't find so just another another thought on that um, also we're, we're getting close to 250 subscribers which is phenomenal and outstanding and I, I appreciate all the feedback I appreciate all the comments at that 250 mark uh, I'll set up something uh, about it an infinity bottle that I created and if you haven't seen that video go back to check it out um, it's because I'd like to get that into someone's hands someone that's a subscriber y'all have an amazing day thank you